Remember the girl that Angelina Jolie adopted 17 years ago? You won't believe her life story. Adoption has given hope to many children whose life would have taken an entirely different path. Zahara Marley. Jolie Pitt's story is one not so different from this. Her life could have taken a tragically common path like many other African children. However, destiny intervened, and 17 years ago, this Ethiopian infant found herself in the care of Hollywood icon Angelina Jolie. This marked the remarkable journey of Zahara from an African orphanage to the opulent city of California. But just like other celebrities' lives, Zahara's own has also not been without the ups and downs of life. Sit tight and watch this video to the end to know all about her life story, the hurdles she faced along the way, and where she stands today. Zahara's Early Life Zahara Marley Jolie Pitt's remarkable life story began in Ethiopia, one of the world's poorest countries. Zahara was born into a nation filled with poverty and hardship. Thus, her early years were filled with uncertainty. Her mother was sadly reported to have died either shortly after giving birth or from AIDS, depending on different sources, leaving her an orphan when she was born. Her father's identity remained unknown, so all she had in the sun-drenched village of Alassa was her grandmother, Almas Bolivian, and her three daughters. They struggled to make ends meet on barely $9 a month while living in an outdated one-room slum deprived of modern amenities. At first, Zahara was looked after by her grandmother, but due to the extreme conditions, she was unable to give and provide adequate food and sustenance for the baby. Out of love and desperation, Zahara's grandmother took the terrible decision to put her in an orphanage, where she would, at the very least, have access to regular meals and care. Zahara meets Angelina, Jolie. Within the confines of the Ethiopian orphanage, Zahara's life took an extraordinary turn. The six-month-old Zahara was discovered by Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie in 2005. Jolie was committed to aiding impoverished children throughout the world and was actively involved in philanthropic initiatives. Although Angelina had adopted a three-year-old kid from Cambodia named Maddox, she was still without biological children of her own. When Angelina found out about Zahara's story, she was moved and saw hope for a better future in the malnourished, abandoned child. Her compassion and resolve to change the world inspired her to adopt Zahara and give her a loving home in the United States. You may probably be wondering why Zahara had to be put up for adoption and what happened to her after that. Keep watching to know all about this. At the time, Angelina and Brad Pitt were dating, and they set out on a journey to give Zahara the chance to thrive. Zahara's life changed dramatically as she went from the harsh conditions of an Ethiopian orphanage to the elegant surroundings of Los Angeles, California. She became a beloved member of the Jolie Pitt family, and the world witnessed her growth in the limelight, surrounded by love and opportunities that her previous circumstances could not have afforded her. Throughout her life, Zahara's grandmother, despite facing her own challenges and being unable to read or write, held a special place in her heart for her granddaughter. She longed to receive a photograph of Zahara, a cherished memory of those beautiful big brown eyes that reminded her of her own daughters. The Adoption In many African countries, families are tragically compelled to make the heart-wrenching decision to give their children to others because they cannot provide for them. Zahara's story reflects this harsh reality, but her destiny would prove to be extraordinary. Had she remained in Ethiopia, she would likely have faced a life of poverty and hardship, living in a modest home and earning just one dollar a day. The prospect of education and a brighter future would have remained distant dreams. However, Zahara's life was about to change dramatically. In 2005, Angelina Jolie, accompanied by Brad Pitt, chose to adopt this six-month-old Ethiopian baby. This decision marked the beginning of a new chapter for Zahara, filled with hope and opportunities she could never have imagined. Upon her adoption, Zahara became a part of the Jolie Pitt family, with Brad Pitt officially becoming her adoptive father, and she was given the double surname Jolie Pitt. While Zahara now enjoyed the comforts and luxuries of life in the United States, it was her newfound family that brought her true happiness. 
Angelina and Brad loved her unconditionally, providing her with the nurturing and support she needed to survive. The Wide Horizons for Children Agency in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital, was responsible for handling Zahara's adoption after Angelina Jolie's return to the United States with Zahara. Reports emerged suggesting that Zahara's birth mother had died from AIDS. When Zahara's birth mother, Mentawab Labiso, resurfaced 12 years later, she expressed ongoing frustration and anger that people had been led to believe that she had died of the disease. She attributed this false narrative to a Mr. Fixit, who had handled the adoption process. There is no indication that Angelina Jolie was aware of or involved in disseminating this false information, nor is there any suggestion of any illegal activity in the adoption process. Angelina Jolie's adoption of Zahara in 2005 was initially associated with the belief that Zahara was an AIDS orphan. Jolie recounted the challenging circumstances of Zahara's health upon her adoption, sharing that her daughter had to be hospitalized for dehydration and malnutrition. As Jolie recalled, there were concerns about other health issues, including a suspected mass in Zahara's arm that turned out to be a fracture resulting from malnutrition-induced rickets. Additionally, there were initial fears of HIV, which fortunately proved to be negative. These revelations underscore the difficult start to Zahara's life and the subsequent journey that led her to the care of Angelina Jolie. However, Zahara's life was not without its challenges. From the moment she joined the Jolie Pitt family, the media spotlight was constantly on her. Paparazzi followed her and her adoptive mother relentlessly, often fabricating stories and sensationalizing their lives. One particularly distressing falsehood spread by the press was the claim that the family was trying to return Zahara to Ethiopia, exploiting their early struggles and poverty to manipulate public perception. Zahara's birth mom and birth story. Amidst these challenges, a remarkable revelation emerged. Zahara's biological mother, Mentawab Dawit Labiso, was alive and harbored a deeply buried secret. In a poignant interview with reporters, she revealed that she had been impregnated against her will and that Zahara was the result of a traumatic assault which she was powerless to resist. The father's identity remained undisclosed and she concealed the pregnancy due to the cultural taboo surrounding such occurrences in Africa. To safeguard her own reputation, she delivered Zahara within the family home and then made the heart-wrenching decision to entrust her to the care of her grandmother, who could provide for the child. Mentawab Zahara's birth mom harbored a profound and closely guarded secret, one she concealed from her neighbors and family members in her quiet town. Her decision to give her daughter up for adoption, even to one of Hollywood's most famous female stars, was a deeply personal and emotionally charged choice that she chose to keep hidden. Mentawab was vigilant about not displaying any photographs of Zahara in her home, determined to ensure that the truth about her past and the adoption of her daughter remained a secret. Even her two cousins living in an adjoining home were unaware that Zahara was her daughter. She was resolute in preserving her privacy and keeping her past hidden from those around her. The subject of Zahara's adoption was one that Mentawab deliberately avoided discussing. It was a painful and difficult topic for her as it stirred not only the deep sense of loss associated with giving away her baby, but also the traumatic memories of how her pregnancy came to be. Mentawab recounted that she had been just 19 years old when she gave birth to her baby girl, whom she lovingly named Yamasre in her native Amharic language. This name carried the beautiful and hopeful meaning of good news. However, the joy of motherhood was tragically overshadowed by the horrifying circumstances of her pregnancy. The child's conception had occurred as a result of a brutal and traumatic rape attack, and Mentawab did not know the identity of the father. The attack had occurred while she was staying at her grandmother's house in Shoni, and the fear and trauma she experienced left her unable to confide in her parents initially. However, as her pregnancy began to become visible, she was compelled to reveal the painful truth. Mentawab Dawit Labiso's life took a harrowing turn after she disclosed her pregnancy to her parents. 
She found herself disowned by her own family due to the circumstances surrounding her pregnancy. This forced her to make the difficult decision to leave her hometown and seek refuge in the nearby town of Hosanna. In Hosanna, Mentawab faced the daunting task of preparing for the arrival of her baby, whom she would later name Zahara. Struggling with financial destitution and lacking a stable place to call home, she was thrust into a precarious situation. Why adoption was the only option? The absence of sufficient resources and support increased the challenges Mentawab and Little Zahara faced. The situation became increasingly dire, with Mentawab's newborn daughter suffering from severe malnourishment and teetering on the brink of death. The obstacles were overwhelming, and both mother and child confronted the harsh realities of their circumstances. Mentawab recalled the painful memories of that period, describing her baby as sick and herself as weak and sick following the birth. The struggles of earning enough to support her daughter while caring for her were a heavy burden to bear. She stressed that she did not abandon her child but rather faced severe illness that rendered her unable to provide the care her newborn daughter needed. In her own words, Mentawab explained, I could not look after her, and my mother, uncle, and his wife suggested I put her up for adoption. I was so weak I agreed. I agreed that she should be put up for adoption, but if I had my chance again, I would have kept her. The regret in her words was palpable, underscoring the painful nature of her decision. Following the adoption, Mentawab continued to live with her parents and three sisters. However, seven years ago, she relocated to a town located 100 kilometers away, accompanied by her father. He had acquired a small plot of land for $133, located approximately 100 meters from the main road traversing the town. On this land, her father erected a one-room house where Mentawab now resides. Additionally, two other rooms were constructed and are currently rented out generating $1.20 per month, which serves as her sole source of income. This move marked a new chapter in Mentawab's life, symbolizing a degree of independence and self-sufficiency amidst the challenging circumstances that had shaped her past. Following her father's passing shortly after constructing their modest homes, Mentawab now lives alone in a single-story concrete house, its roof covered with corrugated iron. This unpretentious residence serves as her sanctuary in the face of life's adversities. Inside her home, a small living room contains a modest array of furniture, a small table and three chairs, while a washing line separates this space from a single bed, providing both comfort and utility. A worn chest of drawers serves as the repository for the cherished photos Mentawab has collected of her daughter. The room is dimly lit by a single 60-watt bulb that illuminates when Mentawab connects two bare wires. In a room devoid of heating and air conditioning, daily life unfolds without the luxuries taken for granted elsewhere. The toilet facilities are basic, consisting of a small hole in the ground. A small stove situated in one corner of the room is the primary means for cooking, reflecting Mentawab's minimal possessions. Like countless others in Ethiopia, Mentawab confronts the harsh realities of daily survival, navigating a world where necessities are far from guaranteed. Her life stands in stark contrast to the opulent and privileged existence of Jolie and her children, including Zahara, who has shown an interest in modeling. While the Jolie Pitt family traverses the globe in private jets, shuttling between their multi-million pound residences, Mentawab's daily routine is one markedly different from that of her daughter. Mentawab Dawit Labiso's daily life unfolds in a town vastly different from the bustling cities and lavish lifestyles associated with Hollywood. Her routine journey to college frequently sees her sharing the road with donkeys, cows, and goats that roam freely through the streets. In her town, home to approximately 100,000 people and their families, the coexistence of humans and animals is a common sight. Many children in the community are occupied with tending to goat herds that meander through the town's pathways. Outside Mentawab's home, a rusting corrugated iron gate serves as a front entrance, where three cows graze on the dust-covered ground in search of sustenance. Within the small property, young children with bare feet and dirt-smudged faces play alongside several chickens, 
painting a picture of rural simplicity and modest living. Mentawab's income is derived from the rental income generated by the two rooms she has available for rent. Moreover, she depends on financial assistance from her brother, who resides in Texas after winning a green card through the United States Immigration Lottery Program. Her brother works as a lorry driver, and any support he can provide aids in her daily survival. Mentawab is acutely aware of the precariousness of her circumstances, describing herself as barely surviving. Mentawab Dawit Labiso's life has been profoundly shaped by the heart-wrenching separation from her daughter Zahara. This emotional ordeal has left an indelible mark on her decisions and aspirations. She has chosen not to marry and has made the conscious decision not to have any more children, a testament to the depth of her commitment to retaining her parental rights. She explained her stance, saying, I have given away one baby, and I do not want to give away another. I want to have the means to support my own child. If I was faced with giving away another child, I would do everything in my power to stop that. I would beg every day and go door to door asking for help before I gave away another child. I do not want to be reliant on anyone, and that is why I have never married. I want to be able to support myself, to achieve financial independence, and one day, start a family of her own. Mentawab Dawit Labiso has embarked on a three-year course in woodwork at a local technical college. Her dream is to become a skilled furniture maker and open her own shop. She envisions a future where she can acquire the necessary machinery and hire staff, ultimately taking charge of her life and achieving a level of self-sufficiency she has longed for. This endeavor represents a significant step forward in her life and a symbol of progress. In the absence of direct contact with her daughter, Mentawab takes solace and immense pride in gazing at photographs of Zahara on her mobile phone. Witnessing her daughter's growth into a beautiful young woman fills her with happiness, but it is also accompanied by profound sadness, knowing that she is missing out on the everyday moments of her daughter's life. She observes that the children of Zahara's age in her town appear much younger, highlighting the stark contrast between their experiences. Did Mentawab want Zahara back? In 2017, when Zahara was 12 years old, her biological mother, Mentawab Dawit Labiso, made a heartfelt plea to be allowed to see her daughter. She reached out to the Daily Mail online, expressing her deep yearning to reconnect with the child she had relinquished for adoption. Mentawab Dawit Labiso, living in poverty in Ethiopia, longed for the opportunity to be a part of her daughter's life. She hoped to hear Zahara's voice, even if they couldn't be together physically. She stressed that she didn't seek to reclaim her daughter from Angelina, but simply desired to establish contact and have the chance to converse with her. I just want her to know that I am alive and here and long to be able to speak with her. I do not want my daughter back, but just to be in contact with her and be able to call her up and talk with her, Mentawab shared with the Daily Mail online. She recounted an encounter that took place two years after the adoption, when representatives of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt visited her to discuss the possibility of contact. In these discussions, Mentawab expressed a simple desire to be allowed to speak with her daughter. However, she believes that her message was misrepresented to Angelina Jolie, who was led to believe that Mentawab wanted Zahara back and that she would not allow her daughter to return to America if a visit were arranged. Mentawab acknowledged the Jolie Pitt's provision of Zahara with a life rich in privilege and love. Angelina had been a maternal figure to Zahara since infancy, yet Mentawab's affection for her daughter remained steadfast. She spoke of the profound longing in her heart, missing Zahara daily and yearning to hear her voice or see her face. Special occasions such as birthdays were particularly challenging for Mentawab as she yearned to celebrate them with her daughter. The Daily Mail Online located Mentawab in a town in central Ethiopia, far from the bustling capital of Addis Ababa and the country's tourist attractions. During an exclusive interview, Mentawab's emotions were palpable as she mentioned Zahara's name. 
Even after 12 years, the pain of relinquishing her only child for adoption was evident in her face. She conveyed her love for Zahara, wanting her to know that she had a mother who loved her just as much as Angelina did. Despite the geographical and cultural differences that separated them, Mentawab's love for her daughter remained as strong as ever, and her dream was to one day be reunited with her. Mentawab acknowledged that Zahara had been granted a life that she herself could never have provided. She expressed pride in the woman her daughter had become, and how her heart swelled with pride when she thought of her. Her deep desire was to ensure that before her time on earth ended, Zahara would know about her biological family in Ethiopia. In her own words, Mentawab said, She has a life that I could never give her, but I would still like to have some contact. I would like to see her face. She has grown into a beautiful woman and I am so proud of her. My heart bursts because I am so proud. We all die sometime and before I die, I would like her to know about me and that she has family here in Ethiopia. I only ask Angelina to let me speak with her. I do not think it is too much to ask. Mentawab's plea was rooted in a desire for connection and she had not had any contact with Zahara since Angelina Jolie adopted her at the age of six months in 2005. Over the years, she had not received cards or letters from Angelina, leaving her with a deep sense of longing and separation from her daughter. Despite the combined wealth of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, estimated at over $500 million, Mentawab had not received any financial assistance and she made it clear that financial support was not her objective. She lived in dire poverty, surviving on less than $1.15 a month, residing in a one-room home without running water or a toilet. Mentawab's intention was not to disrupt Zahara's life or seek financial gain. Her sole wish was to have any form of contact with her daughter. She understood that there was no obligation for Angelina Jolie to reach out to her but her yearning to connect with her own flesh and blood remained unwavering. Mentawab's modest surroundings in the Ethiopian town where she lived stood in stark contrast to the life Sahara had known. Yet her plea was rooted in love and a mother's yearning to bridge the emotional gap that had separated them for years. Do you think there is a need for them to make contact? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Despite the intricacies of the situation, Mentewab Dawit Labiso exhibited remarkable grace and understanding. She never contested Angelina Jolie's adoption of her daughter, recognizing the extraordinary opportunity that had been bestowed upon Zahara. She expressed her hopes for the success and happiness of her daughter and the renowned actress who had become her adoptive mother. By 2007, Zahara Marley Jolie Pitt was growing in the embrace of a large and joyful family. Her life had undergone a remarkable transformation since her adoption by Angelina Jolie two years earlier. The Jolie Pitt family had grown, with Angelina adopting another child and giving birth to three biological children. Zahara was enveloped in love and had five siblings. Divorce and custody battle, Zahara Marley. Jolie Pitt's life was intricately woven into the complexities of her adoptive family's dynamics. She was the second of three children adopted by Hollywood power couple Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Jolie, then 41, and Pitt had once been celebrated as Hollywood's golden couple until their high-profile split and the subsequent acrimonious custody battle that garnered significant media attention. Before their separation, the couple had also welcomed three biological children into their family, further expanding the Jolie-Pitt clan. The six children, including Zahara, resided with Angelina Jolie in Malibu, California, while lawyers worked to negotiate a divorce settlement and finalize the custody arrangements. The custody battle became even more publicized when allegations were made against Brad Pitt, including claims of strict treatment toward the eldest boy, Maddox, who was 15 years old at the time. Additionally, there were unsubstantiated rumors of drug use. These allegations led to a temporary situation where Angelina Jolie was granted custody of all six children, including Zahara. Mentewab Dawit Labiso, Zahara's biological mother, was aware of the divorce proceedings and their media coverage through relatives in the United States who would read her news stories. 
She had also learned about the allegations against Brad Pitt from the internet. Despite the tumultuous situation surrounding her daughter's adoptive family, Mentawab expressed her support for Angelina Jolie in the high-profile custody battle. Mentawab firmly believed that Zahara should stay, with Angelina describing her as a good mother. She expressed her sorrow over the couple's separation and assured them that she would pray for them. However, Mentawab did not anticipate that the divorce would significantly affect Zahara's well-being. She trusted that both Angelina and Brad loved their children and would prioritize their welfare throughout the challenging process. While firmly supporting Angelina Jolie's role as a mother, Mentawab also acknowledged that Brad Pitt had been a good father to Zahara during their time together. She refrained from taking sides in the dispute, understanding the complexities of a marriage breaking up and its impact on the children involved. Her primary concern remained the well-being and happiness of her beloved daughter Zahara, whom she believed would be cared for and protected by both of her adoptive parents during this challenging time in their family's history. Despite the portrayal of Brad Pitt in the media, Mentawab did not recognize the negative image presented of him. To her, he was a man who had cared for and looked after her daughter Zahara throughout their time together. She held the view that he was a good man and hoped that the couple could find a resolution to their differences and move forward with their lives. The period following Angelina Jolie's divorce filing was marked by several intense moments, including her consideration of a restraining order against Brad Pitt. Child protection agencies in Los Angeles also initiated an investigation following a complaint that their eldest son Maddox had been verbally abused by a reportedly intoxicated Brad Pitt on a private flight. While the investigation was ultimately dropped, Angelina Jolie insisted that her soon-to-be ex-husband undergo drug testing four times a month, a detail that came to light when Pitt filed court documents requesting the sealing of all records related to custody issues. Mentawab, however, chose not to take sides in the custody battle though she believed that the six children should stay with their mother. Zahara's Recent Endeavors Zahara is currently a student, believed to be attending a prestigious school in Los Angeles. While her specific career aspirations are not publicly known, her interest in the arts is evident. She has made several appearances in movies alongside her parents, including Maleficent and By the Sea. Additionally, she appeared in the 2017 movie, First They Killed My Father, directed by her mother. It is possible that Zahara may pursue a career in acting, following in her parents' footsteps, but only time will tell. At the age of 14, Zahara collaborated with jeweler Robert Prokop to design the Zahara Collection jewelry line. She unveiled several pieces at the Los Angeles premiere of her mother Angelina's film, Maleficent Mistress of Evil, showcasing three tiered earrings, a bracelet, and a matching ring. The collection was sold at Saks Fifth Avenue and included white and pink quartz jewels, as well as pink sapphire pieces. The proceeds from the sales were donated to Los Angeles' House of Ruth Shelters, which offers transitional housing for women and children in need. Zahara's net worth is not publicly disclosed as she is still a minor. However, her parents have a combined net worth of over $500 million, suggesting that Zahara is likely to inherit a significant portion of their wealth. Additionally, Zahara has earned her own income from appearing in movies, further contributing to her overall net worth. Zahara has a close relationship with her mother, Angelina Jolie, often accompanying her to various events and movie premieres. She is also known to be close to her siblings and has been seen spending time with them on family vacations. Zahara is a private individual and does not share much of her personal life on social media. However, she has recently joined TikTok and has been sharing short videos of her dancing and having fun with her friends. Known for her striking looks, Zahara's hair has been a topic of discussion among fans. She has a unique hairline that some media outlets have described as exotic. Based on pictures taken with her parents and siblings, Zahara is believed to be around 5 feet 7 inches tall. 
Zahara Jolie Pitt has had a unique upbringing and has become a public figure in her own right. Despite being born into a family of celebrities, she has managed to maintain her privacy and not let her fame overshadow her personality. As she grows up, it will be interesting to see what path Zahara chooses and what she will achieve. With her talent and striking looks, she undoubtedly has a bright future ahead of her. Thank you for watching this video. To stay updated and know more about your favorite celebrities, be sure to click on the video that pops up on your screen. See you there.